Hey guys, it's Yvette and I have some projects that I would like to share with you. Um, something that I think we all could probably use right about now. Oh, because a lot of us are stuck in the house and, you know, we're worried about, or not worried, but wondering about what to do and either running out of things to do or trying to find stuff that's not stressful or that takes stress away, stuff like that. So, um, I have some things that I received from Arteza that are totally right up that alley. And when I um, decided to take these products, it was actually more along the lines of what I would need to help me with immersion. And so I have, um, I asked them for a couple of coloring books and I asked them for um, a set of pencils and a set of these really cool pens that I can't wait to show you. Um, so it's technically the color books. It's coloring books and adult coloring books. And it's relaxing and stress relieving and all of that great stuff. So I'm going to take you over um, to the other table so that I can show you more in depth what I have over there. So come on over with me. Okay, so these are the color books. I thought I would show you these first. Um, I think that you can get these either um, separately on their own or you can get these in a bundle, which is really great. And don't be surprised if they come in an Amazon box because I wasn't sure about that. I got something from Amazon. I'm thinking, I didn't order anything from Amazon. Uh, and I open it up and bada boom, bada bing, it was the Arteza. Um, so I was really... Um, I thought I would let you guys know that. Um, okay, so let's open them up. I want to see what they look like inside. And I like how the ends are like really protected. Ooh, I didn't notice this either. Okay, hold on. There's a little band that keeps it, um, and it's attached, so it keeps it attached there. And this is really nice paper. Oh, you guys, look, it comes all the way back. Okay. Wow, look at that. And each one has nothing on the back, right? And the paper is thick enough that it, the um, colors and markers and stuff like that won't go through. I like that one. And let's check this other one out. I think this is the one that really caught my eye um, because it was, it said doodles and it also just looked kind of random, which I thought is kind of what I like. Um, so let's see. Oh, the other one was so easy. <laughs> I just cut all my fingernails off. They had to go though, guys. They had to go. It was too much. Oh, let me use a pen. Okay. There we go. Okay, now this one, oh, look how, see, it's all very random. And I like how with these, well, actually with both of them, um, how you can just put all sorts of colors in there. Okay, here's a big one, and look, there's a kitty cat. Okay, so <laughs> the first thing I'll show you also is the colored pencils. Um, they sent me like the 120 unique colors. These are artist quality. It comes in its own tin, um, so you can keep everything together like that. Oh my goodness. You guys, look at this. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to see if those numbers are on there. It does. So look, it says Storm Gray A151. And I'm trying to think it would have to be around Storm Gray over here. I see Stone Gray. It says Storm. I didn't miss that. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. So Storm Gray 1A151. 
Oh, and look, it says excellent light fastness, great light fastness, good light fastness, and fair light fastness. I have no idea what that means, but that's really cool. I'm sure if you were a proper artist, you would know exactly what that means. And then look, they each have their own tray. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, we got silver in there too. And this is the last one. I'll leave that one in there. And then let me just, on this big one, let me do something. I want to do something. Okay. Um, I'm going to take, what do I want to do with the kitty? Okay. I'm going to make the kitty like yellow. Now, sapphire yellow, I want to see. It says... It says that it has three pluses, which is good light fastness. Okay, so let's see what that means. Hopefully we can see. You guys, who likes to color? I mean, my goodness, who doesn't, right? Okay, so this looks good to me. I'm going very fast. I'm not paying, I'm not like making it pretty guys, but looks nice. I'm trying to miss the nose and the mouth. Okay, so that's a very, I think it looks nice. I think I'm kind of getting the idea of what good light fastness is. Okay, so for, I'm gonna do this, hold on, let me make sure that I'm using something that's gonna be a different, this is called Fruit Punch. And where is Fruit Punch? There it is. Oh, it's another three, hold on. Which one of the pinks? Oh, they're all three. All right, the fuchsia has four, which is fair. So hold on, let me try to find fuchsia. Because I want to see what it's going to, oh, here it is. Let's do a fuchsia tongue. Oh, I wasn't really expecting that. I thought it would be like lighter or something. I'm gonna have to like look up what light fastness is. Okay, let's see, the nose, what if I do an orange? Or is there anything with two? All right, there's something called, nope, not gonna do that. Orange is three. Okay, what if I do rose red, which has two pluses? What is this? They don't all turn that very, there it is. Okay, rose red has two pluses, which says great light fastness. I'm gonna make his nose red. He's got a cold. No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, this is, that's nice and smooth. I, I really like how they work. Let's see if I could do something else red. Let me do this flower. That's nice. I went outside the lines. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to get a bad grade. <laughs> oh, that one's like, he's tight in there. Okay. Okay, now I feel like <laughs> like I have to find one 
that's a one plus. So I can see what excellent light fastness is. What is a one plus? Well, nothing all that exciting. <laughs> oh, wait, deep teal. Let's see, what would deep teal look like? That's not it, teal. Is it this, what is this? Oh, that's it. Okay, so deep teal has one plus sign which says excellent light fastness and deep teal. What do I want to color deep teal? Do this monster right here. I'm going to make him. Don't want to make him deep teal. I'm going to make him deep teal. He's kind of big to color, but I think I want to make him teal. And now I think I'm going to try to like outline where I want it to go. Okay, so I don't know. It's like I really need to find out what that is. If I can find it out, guys, I'm going to put it in the description box and tell you. Um, there might even be something about it on their website. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just do half of the monster because he's kind of big. I think this is part of him too. Okay, nobody judge if you don't like my coloring. <laughs> All right, so these are going to be really great for whenever you have those little areas. Um, I'm not going to do the whole guy because I'll be, I'll be here for like 20 minutes coloring him. Um, so I think these are really great. These are really awesome. I can't wait to do more. What is this one? Burnt um, Umber. Oh, and this, this one has a one plus as well. Um, this low brown leaf. I don't know if I want to go. I think I might do a different color leaf right there. I'm going to kind of put the inside of the flower. It could be brown right there. That's very nice. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> I'll be sitting here coloring forever. Okay, so I think, all right, so one, two, we have five trays of colors, tons to choose from, 120 colors. Oh, I love these oranges. Oh, look at the pinks. Y'all know I'm dying for those. Um, okay, so these are, um, these are the pencils. I'm going to set those right there. And then we also have, um, the Inconic, and I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Inconic pens. Um, it says that there are all unique colors. I've got 72 colors, a triangular barrel, and it's water-based ink. And I have never tried these before, so I'm excited to try them. Let me move one of these over. Okay, so this one, I have to move this over too. I don't want y'all to not see it though. Okay, so we have three trays of colors. Oh my goodness, look at those. That's nice. Okay, let me pull one of these out so you can see. Now, this one doesn't have anything about, um, what am I doing? I think I'm like, you have to get it perfect. Okay, um, 
So let me try. I'm gonna, I have to try this one. It's just bright and pinky orange. Kind of matches my fingernails. <laughs> um, okay, so this one is A107. I'm not sure what the colors are because there's, let me see if there's something on the back. Oh, they're on the back. Okay, so A107. is called neon pink. Yep, I would say it is. And I am gonna, oh, okay, so here's what it looks like. Um, let me put it against here, this, this will be good. So you can see it's got a nice sharp point and it's water-based. Um, and it does have a triangular barrel, so it doesn't move around a lot, just kind of stays where you want it. And I think I'm going to do, oh, here's something with polka dots. I'm going to color the polka dots. Okay, these are nice, guys. Very smooth. Goes where you want it. It colors in without, um, like the color stays uniform. So I could keep going over it and it's not gonna, um, you know, like get darker or anything like that. Well, I mean, I don't know, I'm not going over it a thousand times or anything, but. These are very nice. And with the point being so tight and small, um, I can see it working really well on some of these where they have the tight spaces. Yeah, I could I could see how these would be really nice. Ooh, what's this that's coming up? Ooh, look at that. It's a rhino. Okay, let me finish my dots. Wow, check that out. Okay, I'm really liking these ink tonic pens. I'm really liking these. Um, oh my goodness, look at all these colors. Okay, so it, it, honestly, these are so nice. I think that these definitely go together. Um, I love the colored pencils, but I think I would like those better for doing my own doodling. Um, and I do have some artist paper that I bought since I was going to um, try to dive right into immersion. It's kind of been a little hectic lately, as I'm sure it is for everybody. Um, but I will get back to it for sure. And I will be so very happy to have these supplies. Um, so if you guys are just looking for something you know, that's going to be relaxing to do. And these are not the only two color books. I think they have some other ones as well. So I'll be sure to um, point you in the direction of those. And I also have a coupon code that I am going to put in the description box. And I will also pin it in the first comment down below the video. So if you'd like to go and check any of those things out, if they look good to you, um, you will get a discount. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I just, I've been exploring like different things that I'd like to do um, craft wise. I'd like to um, do more things that are not only relaxing, but also can bring out more of the creative side that I feel gets pushed back because we are so inundated with the pulling, you know, to one direction or the other, you're taking care of the family, you're going to work, you have to, um, you know, clean the house. And there's just all these things that distract you. And I thought this would be something that you guys might like to look at 
only because it was something I wanted to look at. So I thought, what the heck, I'll, um, you know, show it to you and see what you think. And please let us know down in the comments, you know, what you think about these things. If it's something that you'd like to see more of or, um, or not. I'm just tossing it out there. We'll see what happens. Um, but I will definitely see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I will try to relax with my pens. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next one.